My name is Rachel Baines and I play the second trumpet in the orchestra. I think I've been here since about 2001. I moved to Milton Keynes in 99 and I started going to the Milton Keynes um, Orchestra. I met there the guy who plays first trumpet here, so he told me about NSO and at the time they were a bit better than the Milton Keynes Symphonia. So although they were further away, it was a bit of an aspiration of mine to play for them. My name's Roz and I play viola in the orchestra. I've been in the NSO since 2005. I watched the NSO play at the Dern Gate when I was about eight and thought they were amazing and uh, when I came back from university I just joined. My name is Nicholas Dean and I play in the second violins in the Northampton Symphony Orchestra. I started there in September 2013 so this would be my fifth season now. I've been playing music for as long as I can remember and wanted to keep it up and I had previous played in an orchestra when I was at school. I had spent years getting towards grade 8 on violins and you know, wanted to keep it up because it's not something I do professionally, it's more of a hobby. When I got to that stage I knew I wanted to go and join an orchestra in my spare time and there just happened to be one in Northampton where I lived. My name's Theo Sturge. I'm a viola player in the Northampton Symphony Orchestra. I've played in the orchestra for just over 20 years now I think. I joined this one because it was the orchestra, the only orchestra really at that time, I think, to join. It was the first one I found out about and it sounded like what I wanted. I keep going back to this one partly because it's easy. I enjoy having a rehearsal schedule that goes on a web regular basis. It's a Wednesday night and it's every Wednesday night. I was appointed music director of Northampton Symphony Orchestra about two years ago. My favourite thing about the orchestra is the energy that they can give, the passion that they can put into the music. One of the things I try to foster is a spirit of working together, enjoyment of music, so that it's not just coming in and playing the notes and then going away, but it's actually feeling that we're all working together. I also talk to audiences a lot, um, and I think the orchestra responds to that. They feel that the audience is being drawn more into the concert process. So outside of the NSO, I'm a peripatetic music teacher, so that means I go around primary schools teaching mainly guitar for MPAT, which is the Northampton Cheer Music and Performing Arts Trust. Outside the NSO, I work for a bank, very different, so I work for Santander, and actually I run their marketing department. So um, yeah, so that keeps me busy, and uh, it's great because the NSO makes me leave work on time on a Wednesday, which is perfect. <laughs> It's very different, the, the job that I do, to playing in the NSO and that's half the fun of it because it's such a different thing that I do at work and then I can come and, and take my mind completely off work and do something completely different at NSO. I actually work in IT, so it's just, that's just something I've started with, but I've always had a kind of passion for music. If you have a passion for something, it's good that you want to kind of do it professionally, but in some ways it's good to keep it as a hobby because it keeps the passion alive. I had a dream to make violas or instruments as a child. 30 years ago, I had a crack at it and made my first instrument. It was a dreadful thing. I made it all on my own without any training at all. And I've made five violas now and a violin for my nephew.